everyone. Hello, hello. hello. Welcome to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. I am you, Caesar, and I'm joined here by my commentators, Krakenos and Shigan, and also Kane as a side. We have three commentators, I hope it's okay. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna go straight through, um, start right away, and most of the commentary will be done by my commentator, uh, commentators right here. So um, yeah, gonna head straight in, and maybe one of you would like to press the button for me as well. Oh, you can do it. Yeah. Oh, Kane, you can do it. Kane Maybe Kane. Yeah, <laughs> it won't work properly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the most proper one. All right. Three, two, one, go. So, welcome to the Binding of Isaac uh, Repentance. Uh, Binding of Isaac Repentance is an expansion of the original Binding of Isaac Rebirth game released on 2021 last year. Uh, we are playing right now on Season 2 mod, um, on Racing Plus as well. Racing Plus is a mod uh, for speedrun only, <laughs> basically. Um, where everything goes fast for a speedrunner, basically. Yeah. So, right now, uh, Yusizo is playing with uh, Tainty Isaac, uh, which is a complicated character, I would say. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty complicated uh, character. Essentially, like, the goal of the run is uh, to go through seven characters to the end goal, going through each floor. And uh, first character that we have here is uh, Tate and Isaac, which uh, the gimmick of the character is that they, they only can have a certain amount of items, but they also get to choose the item, right? Uh, essentially, every item on the pedestal will left between two items, as you can see, and, uh, well, you can choose between the two, but after you reach the cap of the items, you have to exchange them. Also, it's worth mentioning, every character starts with D6, which you can see on the bottom right, as a pocket item, uh, which uh, essentially D6 allows you to reroll uh, the item on the pedestal, uh, it's a change uh, made exclusive to the Racing Plus mod, which, uh, which uh, essentially, essentially the change allows us to have more control of the items uh, that we are getting during the run. Basically, it reduces the amount of RNG you, you can have on the run. Uh, if you play on Vanilla, so without the Racing Plus mod, uh, the game is really RNG uh, AV. So. That's why you are playing on Racing Plus right now. Uh, many things goes on these two first minutes, <laughs> let's be honest. So, uh, UCSO begins with Holy Famous item, which is a pretty good item. It's a huge damage up. Uh, it reduces a bit the tier rate, but it's alright. That's a pretty good item. Uh, on Titan Isaac, once again. Ragnos explained it really well. Um, so. What should I say? <laughs> There's a lot to say. Uh, you can see on the previous floor that uh, you see that got a uh, devil deal. And thanks to Racing Plus, there is a feature. If you don't get it during the, the two first floors, basically you have a free devil deal, which was represented by the gift. I'm pretty sure we will see that again, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. obviously. So this is the best boss of Repentance, by the way, Bumbo. <laughs> But it was pretty okay, like, good dodging, good good damage so far, with the succubus, uh, yeah. mostly. That's pretty terrible, uh, <laughs> devil deal right now, yeah. but it's alright, like, every spinner know how to deal with RNG, basically. Yeah, uh, while we don't do like any kind of uh, RNG manipulation in the run, or, uh, or pretty much any glitches, uh, the mod allows us to make uh, a lot of decisions during the run, which uh, pretty much help uh, the RNG. Uh, also, like every char every character in the in the run starts with the compass, so we can in normally when you see the map in the game, you can't uh, see any landmark. But here we can, due to having a compass, we have landmarks, uh, so we can make uh, a read on the floor where we want to go to the boss. Also, it's worth mentioning, like, in the casual run, uh, you would uh, ideally want to go to, for example, an item room and uh, explore the entire floor. However, in the speed run, uh, 
Now we essentially the most amount of damage uh, damaging items that we are getting are from the devil deals and the boss room items so we are essentially want to go straight into the boss and not not uh, not explore the floor to to get the additional items and pretty much hope that this is gonna be enough to finish the run yeah basically if your item room is like one one room um, next to the route you need to take to go to the boss you just go to the item room but it was that was a try here basically so uh, we are facing one of the boss most important boss of the, on the game which is the mom on the sixth row every character will have 10 throw to complete so we are basically at the half of the first run i would say uh, and as you can see here the damage is pretty terrible i would say but yeah. that's lack of luck i would say um here so uh, Yusis is doing something uh, pretty interesting. If you didn't play the game for a while, she took the negative. The negative is basically a, di a huge damage jump. Oh. And this is something pretty That's cool here. So yeah. now the run is saved and it should be alright, I guess. I think you're pretty happy with that, right? Very happy with that. Absolutely. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, probably the best outcome it could have been. <laughs> yeah. uh, the item she got is uh, Mod Void, which is uh, this uh, black ring around the character that you charge. And it's it's on the set chart, so uh, and it scales with the damage. So essentially, the starting item that she has is a polyphemus, which is a big damage up. So essentially, that really synergizes well with more of the void. Fun fact uh, is that it was way better before more of the void because uh, repentance made a huge change in every character. Basically, uh, now the game is. Mostly, you need to know which items you have to take with each item. I, I, I mean, I pick for example, is, was a good item before, but now it can nearly kill builds. Yeah, there is there are a lot of synergies were added, which are now like anti-synergies, right? They can, you you must be more like picky about this item. You have to like know more synergies if that's not gonna kill your run. You need to think now. Imagine. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> yeah. thinking. <laughs> yeah. Having played Effort Birth Plus all, um, for a long time and then Repentance comes along and you have to think. Yeah, yeah that, that was a terrible thing. <laughs> so right now we are on the Cathedral, which is the last floor, uh, not the last floor, but the floor just before. Um, we will alternate between Cathedrals and Chest and, chest and then um, Shields and Dark Rooms. Um, this is the easiest room of the two. Uh, easiest route, I would say, uh, of the two routes that uh, UCs I will take. Uh, so every uh, odd character would be uh, chest ending, and every even number, uh, every even character would be uh, a dark room ending. Yeah, it's worth mentioning that uh, in vanilla game, uh, to proceed further into the run in the chest, you need to have Polaroid. However, uh, in the mod, we are setting a goal to allow for a decision uh, for a player to pick up between uh, Polaroid and negative. So it doesn't matter which, one, uh, which picture you take, uh, you will end up uh, in the set goal still. So this is the final floor, the chest, which is basically, I would say, a boss rush. Uh, every, f every room, except this one, of course, is a boss. Uh, this, this one is a really bad boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the red poop one. Oh. Red poop are probably the worst enemy in the game. Yeah, the most powerful <laughs> boss yes. in the game. It's the most it's, powerful one. It's actually not even a joke because uh, in a lot of our tournaments they can be a, uh, a killer for the race. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just instantly. Yeah, obviously. Okay. And we will be done with the first character really soon. And let's go with the second one. You can clap. Yes, yep. you're allowed to clap. Yeah, at the end of each character, especially when it will be hard, we will solve that. So now we are playing with Eve. Eve is a character um, really interesting because she has an item which is a War of Babylon. The War of Babylon is something that increases damage um, when Eve gets one red art or even zero red art. Uh, it can happen very really soon, we will see that. And the starting item was pretty interesting as well, it's Godhead. So Godhead is this kind of yellow aura uh, around uh, Eve's tears. That's pretty powerful, let's be honest. Yep, it's uh, really powerful. 
So V out, uh, pretty terrible boss, I would say, but it's all right. <laughs> yeah, it went all right. So one of the change of repentance, uh, you can see uh, you see the going to um, curse room before when you in after boss plus and before. Uh, if you lose a red out, basically you just lose your devil deal. Uh, now it's not even the case anymore on the on repentance. So really interesting fact here, um, she took her damage on purpose um, just to keep the devil deal. It's luck base anyway. Mostly she will. She she won't have this, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, you can see on the hard there is 36 chance she will get this devil deal. But she doesn't want to get it because if she doesn't get this devil deal, she's guaranteed the next one. Because she got teleported into the devil deal before uh, via the red chest in the curse room. So ideally, she wants to just carry over the guaranteed chance from the first floor to the next one. Hmm. It was good thinking, yep. I think. Yeah. And it Very smart out. move. Very smart move. And if you do it in the boss room, you get an even lower chance to do it. But I was figuring maybe I'll get a soul heart on the way and, you know, hmm. something like this. It will be 1% chance, yeah, basically. Nice health ups. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very really strong one. You can take as many devilities as you want, probably, now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a good point. There is also one uh, racing uh, plus change that it's uh, really wor worth mentioning. It's uh, a seeded death mechanic. We call it seeded death mechanic because uh, it originated from the seeded racing. Uh, essentially, essentially, when you die, uh, you don't actually die. You get a 45 second penalty because uh, essentially dying uh, on like fourth character in the run, uh, very very late in the uh, in the run. It's very punishing and it's very demotivating thing for pretty much grinding the runs that you can just lose it all towards the end. Yeah. And it's very, very mad and safe for that reason as and well. I've set myself a thing today that for every seeded death that I uh, have today, I'm going to donate $10. So if, feel free to, if you want to join me, you don't have to don uh, uh, donate. Ten dollars. It could be as little as one dollar. Everything makes a difference. I guess you would be alright. I'm not worried about you. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. I mean, you're a pro player, right? Right. League one, right? Yep. <laughs> a very interesting. We we saw. We just saw a golden troll bomb. Like it's world repentance. You. It's something. It's it's a bomb that just exploded forever, basically. <laughs> oh, Bruni. So, right now, uh, UC's damage is pretty strong, I would say. It's a really good beginning. It Under could be even up. better, but the devil deals are pretty terrible, let's be honest. Yeah. It's RNG based. Like, you, you can be the best player in the world and just your your run can be killed by yeah. you. We should, probably, we should have probably mentioned that uh, this is a, all these seeds are random. We've never seen them before. And uh, while it is random, in the run we can do a lot to like mitigate the RNG, even with like uh, the proper movement in the rooms. Like, if you keep attention, you can see like uh, how Caesar is uh, navigating through the room. She ideally, like uh, in the basement, wants uh, to end up by the end of the clearing uh, the room. She wants to end up uh, more in the middle, so she can uh, grab. Uh, the room pickups and towards the run it more like moves towards the door where where she wanna go like you here and here towards the door basically always need to adapt yep. anyway uh lot of routing for which item you need to, to, to pick that's really like a hard game to learn i would say but uh yeah it's a very like tough game to like get into into the speedrun because there is a lot of factors that, that are at play. By the way, nice animation here, <laughs> the long legs. Yeah. <laughs> this game is a bit, uh, got big bit of bugs, I, I would say. <laughs> yeah, there's also like, it's hard to learn because uh, there is a lot of items and a lot of synergies. Like, uh, 
one item can be good in one case, but in another case it completely destroys the run. That's pretty funny because even after like thousands of hours you still need you, you still learn something. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Okay, so right now the that's a pretty decent run I would say. Um so very interesting here, uh, you see that that, uh, that didn't go to the boss room uh, just to charge D6 here. Especially yeah. because there is a 100 percent chance to get the devil deal here. We should see probably. And it will happen really soon. Let's go. And that's terrible. Yeah. There is a shovel. The shovel is a very powerful item, but on one two it's basically useless. Why? Because with a shovel you just keep flows basically. So that's pretty fast. But you can't you can't keep uh, on shield. Yeah. Also with the shovel, it's uh, when you're skipping floor, you're skipping the devil deals and uh, the boss rooms, which effectively effectively means you're skipping the items. So when you get uh, get the shovel into the run, it's like a really like kind of loaded decision if you actually want to take it and use it, because uh, your your build might not be powerful enough to just get through the game. But lot of risks. Uh, if you're doing that, basically, if you're on the world record pace, you you have to do that like always. Now it's yeah. a marathon, so yes, we should be marathon safe. <laughs> yeah, pretty we'll much. see that. It depends. Like yeah. like I said before, it's adaptation basically. So um, this is Saturn. Uh, Saturn is pretty hard fight, but and that's alright. Nice. And we reach the dark room. The dark room is an interesting floor, so it's the last floor for this fruit. Um, you have only Devil Deal's item on the first room. Uh, each time you reach this kind of floor, the, the first room is four chests. And each chest gives a random item, so you can reward it. It was alright, I mean the baton grab was pretty alright. Base damage up. Yeah, it's a bit slow now because like there was not a lot of uh, well the build didn't get a lot of damage so it's a tiny bit slow but it's still like all right. It's all right for a marathon. Yep. Nice, uh, nice room here <laughs> with yeah. the best boss of the game. <laughs> Notably, with the final floors, the chest and dark room, you cannot bomb out of these rooms. Oh, yeah. really important mechanic of the floor. Uh, yep. With a full count. So, uh, you scissors um, try to catch cards when they are on the way. Um, some cards are very interesting, especially the card number four, which is the Emperor card. Oh, nice An Emperor bomb. card is a nice bomb. We, we don't see anything, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> so, the Emperor card is a card that teleports you directly to the, to the boss of the floor. So that's really interesting to use this kind of um, cards on dark room and on the chest, uh, especially because you can't bomb. That's uh, an interesting one. <laughs> it was it was maybe the, the, the same as before. Yeah, but, it's ah. like similar, I guess. Also, like uh, since we mentioned bombing. Like, uh, bomb management is also like quite big part of uh, the run because a lot of the rooms are very slowly to just clear naturally, yeah, especially with like specific uh, builds. Like, for example, with uh, Mom's Knife, which is uh, like very powerful uh, item, but uh, it struggles a bit on the faster, uh, it struggles a bit to go fast on, uh, on the rooms with multiple enemies. So it's so it's a bit uh, like it's uh, a good to like get uh, the bombs early to use them later in, in the run. GG for this character, by the way, because it was really hard to complete. Uh, the damage wasn't pretty good, but you did a wonderful job. 
So let's go to Tainted Samson. Tainted Samson is a really interesting character as well. We should see his mechanic very soon, which is this one. This is Berserk mechanic. So when Tainted Samson deals damage or took damage, um, there is a meter that is going up. Uh, basically, that's a circle one. And when it's when it's true, uh, the bright mechanic just goes on. And it's really powerful, but you will see at the end that it's not a really good point. You will see why, probably. Ooh. Probably. That's oh, a that's, really good trinket. That's a very really good trinket, yeah, because you have a, another Incubus now. And the mechanic is on. Uh, nice. It's worth mentioning that uh, the starting builds uh, tend to be like multiple items. Uh, that's because we want uh, as much as possible to item uh, the starting builds to be similar uh, power level. Yeah, for example, Incubus is not a really good item itself, but added with um... twisted pair. Thank you. <laughs> I, I forgot. To, I forgot yeah, I, I also forgot. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's all right. I mean, it's not. Maybe it's not as strong as some other item, but it's all right. It's decent. Yeah, like there's only so much we can like do to like bring bring the items to like similar power level. There's still gonna be some variance with it. Ah, uh, oh, dang it. So now we are playing. We are doing a repentant feature, alternate throw. So each throw now has an alternate uh, version. So now we are in an internet version of the basement. Uh, it's a sewer here. Those are pretty harder throw, I would say, with harder boss. But the good point here on speedrun is that it's faster. It's yeah. faster because less room, less room that caves uh, here because we are on floor number three right now. Yeah, so essentially uh, we might see like popping into the alter alternate basement uh, downpour uh, because uh, this one is actually tends to be faster but for example uh, the al alternate caves is in pretty much never faster because the boss is there. There is like for example one specific boss there which is like wave based which is very bad for a speedrun because you can't really do much to clear it faster. Imagine the binding of Isaac with auto scroller. Yeah. But that, basically basically it's that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. boss is basically an auto scroller auto scroller and you don't want that in, in your run. So sewer and dampu are will be the only floors that we should visit. Yeah, from the re repentance path. That's, That's a really rare room. <laughs> really really rare but cool room. So we can talk about shops here. Uh, shops is are really interesting to, to visit uh, on other seasons, I would say, because you have high chance to get the mapping. The mapping is very interesting uh, once again. Um, I mean, money could be interesting here. You have many items that work. Yeah, like uh, the shop, like in pretty much vanilla speedruns, is like very essential because. Uh, well, you start with uh, no mapping. However, since uh, we have consistent mapping here uh, with a compass, it's not uh, it's not that ideal. Like uh, we like uh, we won't go out of our way to get uh, to get the money and get to the shop, right? So you guys mind if I cut in with some donations here? You can, sure. Yep, sure. All right, so we actually have two donations that are for Stream 2. I would like to take this moment, actually, to remind you guys that while there are two streams going on, they each have their own separate donation buttons. But we'll read out these two right now. These are for the Final Fantasy V run that's going on right now. The first one is $10 from Salvner, saying, Great run, Lini. Good job booping those final snoots. And that goes towards the Mirror's Edge any percent relay race for the commentary bias. And we have a $5 donation from Trapsky saying, The legend of Burtz and his trusty chocobo steed Boko is known far and wide. Their journeys inspiring entire generations to adventure. Though or disagreements to the appropriate spelling of the carefree use name has led to many a hurt butts. All right. Uh there is a very interesting boss, uh, the Fallen. It's interesting because uh, uh, when he dies, 
he drops uh, an item from a devil deal pool instead of uh, instead of uh, the boss room pool. Usually it's really good. Yeah, but this, <laughs> this, this time it this, was. This time it's, it was not. It wasn't that good. Well, RNG wasn't very nice right now. <laughs> it's not yeah. very nice, uh, I would say. Okay, so you can see like the, the Berserk mechanic is way too strong right now. Oh, Minimush. Nice. Speed and range up. Um, very interesting thing to know about Isaac is that you need at least three things to complete a run. Uh, damage, obviously, mapping, we already have that. And speed is really important, to be honest. Like, if you have a one speed and a two speed, um, it changes a lot. Yeah, it, it's uh, very hard to navigate uh, through a room with low speed. It's also like harder to dodge, so you take uh, more hits. So yeah, speed is a very crucial stat in a speedrun. So the mom fight, let's go. Should take the negative after that, so it will be a huge damage up. It's kind of fun looking build. Oh, that's oh. very interesting. That's fun. Item. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. Fun. Let's go, that's repentance. <laughs> yep. That's a really good item. Yeah, as entry changes, as you can see, your tears into this uh, light thingies. Like, how, I don't know how to call it. <laughs> like light beams. Lasers. Lasers, yeah. yeah. Who's uh, not as good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. The, the run is way better now. What is this floor, though? <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> oh my god. Interesting floor here. So the boss is south to the starting room, but you have to go up and then right and then everything. <laughs> yeah, you can't even like read that floor <laughs> well. Like. I think everyone would have messed up probably. Yeah. So to be a good Isaac player, you need to know how to read those, basically. Yep. Oh, that's a pretty interesting build here. That, that, it needs some color, so... True. Yeah. True. You will find some, probably. <laughs> probably in the chest. Yeah. That's, what, that's way better than me. Yeah. Chantilly. Okay, bloat! Bloat fights! Uh, favorite, boss, favorite boss from everyone. And uh, you could see like uh, the trinket drop uh, from the boss. It's a uh, trinket called Perfection. It's essentially drops when you do the floor flawlessly. You don't get hit at all during the floor, and it gives a bunch of luck. Yeah, I could have picked it up to get a, a lot of uh, holy light procs, but I do like my current drink as well. Yeah, it's a good build already, and uh, the drawback of perfection is that uh, when you get hit, basically you lost it. As easy as that. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's kind of also worth mentioning that uh, it's very hard to make like optimal decisions in the run because since every city is different, uh, there is a lot of variance. So in one case, taking one item can end up being very good because uh, along the way you get uh, a really good synergy with it. But in another one, that's not gonna be the case. We pretty much uh, work with averages here. Like, uh, which item is gonna be good in, on the average in the most amount of cases. That's an alright boss. Like, the build now is pretty good. Yep. Isaac is pretty hard to, to defeat, let's be honest. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. that's interesting. <laughs> that, yeah. That's interesting. I, I, I think we can say that. Yeah. That's a fun fact of. Uh, that, that's a fun part of the content, I would say. Like, everything synergizes now. Everything except the sword. The sword does. Yeah. The sword. <laughs> that's a yeah. good meme. Yeah. Maybe we, we will see that, but yeah, the sword doesn't, doesn't synergize with everything. Yep. We can't even say anything, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Like, 
vast majority of items synergize uh, with each other, but there are a few odd ones out there that, uh, yeah, just don't have many synergies. So we should be done with this character in 15 seconds. Yeah. Maybe. Depends on the boss. But now the damage is pretty good. Yeah, it's actually really good. And we'll see what will be the next character. <laughs> wow, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> and it's Kane! It's Kane! It's him! Kane. It's Kane! <laughs> it is time! How is it's Kane playing and commentating at the same time? Why? Well, because it's, it's Kane. <laughs> he's, he's too strong. He's very talented. So now, as Kraknos said before, um, your scissors just begin with pointy rib and F mascara. So those items um, alone are not really good, but together it's pretty alright. Say. Yeah, essentially, if the mascara is uh, double the damage, double the tier rate, uh, and pointy rib uh, has a constant um, damage output, right? It's not affected by any stat, tier rate, nothing like that. And it scales with the damage, so the more damage you stack on it, the better it is. So every like, item that uh, decreases uh, the tier rate uh, for more damage is good with the point reap. And well, that's why they synergize well together. You can see that the damage is pretty good already. And it can be even better with the Devil Deal that's coming. Yeah, we'll see what's gonna be here. It's alright. Could be yeah. worse. Could uh, be better as well. It could be better as well. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, Tia, I would say. Yeah. Uh, so, usually, uh, speedrunners don't take pills, but it's Kane, and Kane um, has a special ability. Every pills uh, Kane took. It's good. Yeah, it's uh, essentially all the bad effects uh, of the pills are uh, changed into the good ones. So, like, uh, if the pill was uh, originally a uh, speed down cane, it's a speed up pill. It's like in Wrath of the Lamb, the first version of Isaac. Cain uh, has his ability and he lost it in, re in rebirth and he gains it again, so. Yep. But some. But the first version of Isaac. Okay, so now we are in cave 2. The damage is alright right now, but it can be an issue really soon. <laughs> yeah. Let's say that. Like, ideally, uh, we want to get like something still with this build till the womb to make it like faster. <laughs> Maybe you're wondering, um, uh, the timer in the game is 31.50 and the timer on the stream is 32.10. Uh, that's because the timer on the game is based on frames. So when you change throws, uh, the, the screen fades black, uh, so the game isn't count in, during it. And on speedrun.com, for leaderboards purples, we use the in-game timer. So if you have a pretty bad computer... I don't think I can reach this <laughs> enemy! <laughs> yeah. It's alright, it's alright. I mean... That's not a soft one. Yeah, that's, that's a soft one. Like you have a bomb. Yeah. You have a bomb anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, so basically, if you have a bad computer, you... It won't be an issue for you then. Yeah, essentially, like, every time like you change the room, there's this uh, room transition animation. And between that time, the game loads the new room. And in that like short period of time, the game on most computers dropped some frames, and on a bad computer, it's well, it's very punishing because <laughs> you are pretty much losing time every every time you change the room, every time you get uh, to the new floor. Yeah, that's that's pretty weird when when you play like that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so essentially we use uh, in-game timer uh, to make it more fair for people with worse gear. So we are halfway through the run because we are on depth two on the on the fourth character. 
And this is a good boss, like I don't remember his name. Um Headless I... Horseman? I think it's Headless yeah. Horseman. Yeah, thank you. Um So now interesting point here is that uh, you see the god of flight and speed up as well. Yeah. So even if she takes uh speed down now, her speed is capped at 150. It can't go down. Yeah. Essentially, Pony fixes your speed to 1.5. It can go below that. And that's a very unfortunate room to not have a bomb. Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> yeah, and that's a very unfortunate floor. Like. We have to defeat all of those pins. Yeah. And that's like a very hard floor to read as well. Yeah, so. yeah. That's repentance map, I would say. Yeah. Would now be a good time for some donations? Of yep. course. All right, we have three quick ones here. We have $25 from Repetro Jer saying, thank you for your great work again. Looking forward to the upcoming days. Greetings to both the German restreams. We have $10 from Cousin saying, this is some nice, fast gaming content we are getting here at Quality Hotel View Malmo, Sweden. <laughs> and I have to agree on that. <laughs> And we have $10 from Adrian saying, I have hard relationships with this game recently, but the runners and commentators seem like nice people, so I'm going to donate now. <laughs> Thank you. You're all awesome, people. Okay, mom fight. Let's go. Yes, the mage is not as good as before, let's be yeah. honest. Like, Yeah, this is, yeah, is kind of sad. <laughs> Should we say that the RNG during this run right now is bad? Yeah, during this one for sure. The two previous ones were like pretty good. Is it is it actually better than yesterday? Uh, Thinking mm -hmm. emoji. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We did we did a practice run yesterday, and I think like uh, for, for the for the fun fact, I would say, uh, you see the play on my Steam account, and it was, as she said, the worst. Ever speedruns she ever made. Yeah. By the way, she got got a PB <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Don't talk about that. <laughs> it's my, my first run. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> but thank you. Yeah. Oh, of course. Nice RNG here. <laughs> it won't be a. Uh, it, it won't change anything. What do you mean it's a health up? <laughs> yeah. 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 Because you're doing very badly on health as you can see. We can mention something, we, we didn't say that before, but... Uh, oh, tears up, nice. Tears up twice, nice. Um, when you reach Womb 1, which is the 7th floor, uh, each hit you, you take is 1 heart. Every time. Before it's 0 0.5, except that if you face a champion enemy, it's 1 heart, usually. You got a uh, bottle of steel with 12 hearts, that's really right. <laughs> At least you're safe, but uh, <laughs> the damage is terrible. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna die here, but it's gonna take a bit. Well, if you're a speedrunner, you prefer to have low health and good damage than the opposite, let's be honest. Yeah, you want to have uh, low health, because when you have low health, that means you took a lot of damage, let's be honest. Yeah. Like, well, in most cases. So, if you have low health, then your run is kind of set. Fine. Well, most of the time. Even if you're the best player in the world, you can't be faster now. Yeah. Basically, like, no, basically no bombs, pretty bad build, you, you can't do anything. You just have to wait and just dodge tears and everything. Yeah. That got and a shovel, nice meme. Thank you, game. Another womb to shovel, which is Pretty much we can't do anything with it. It's useless. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. Um, oh my God. It's a pretty good run. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a safe run. It's not very fast. It's a safe run, but uh, what's what's impressive is that you see it take a lot of damage. Like, but yeah. pretty good. Yeah, like, also, like, the health situation is uh, also due to the fact of uh, well, dodging well wow. and... Oh. It's not time for gambling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have time for it. Yeah. <laughs> but what? yeah, essentially... Essentially, in the run, uh, it's like... I would say it's like a poker hand, right? Uh, you can only like... 
do so much. You are dealt the cards and uh, you work with them. And that's the case for pretty much every run in Isaac. Well, that's something. As you can see, damage is very low. But we are doing good. There are three characters left, by the way. Well, one good part about uh, this run is that uh, we can actually see what the bosses are doing. Like, what are the, yeah, <laughs> what are the attacks? Pretty interesting patterns. pattern, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so maybe it's a lifesaver here. It maybe. doesn't seem... Oh, no, maybe that's... Five. Okay. Memes? You know what? Memes. 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 Oh, memes. Nice. We can <laughs> clap for that, by the way. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> yeah. Okay, almond milk. So, what is almond milk? Almond milk is... Uh, Huge tears up, but it's a damage down. But actually, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, your, your build is way better now. <laughs> yeah, it's but pretty alright because uh, she also has Lamp of Coal, which is flat damage up. I... And that synergizes well with those items because they're not like affected by uh, the multiplier that uh, the Almond Milk does, which is a very like low multiplier. We can say it's a pretty good build, even. Yeah. <laughs> Liel, fourth character down, and Tainted Azazel with C-section, so that's pretty cool. Tainted Azazel is a particular character, so it's a Tainted version of Azazel. You can see that he shoots some Brimstone uh, beam, and Tainted Azazel can carve on enemies. If he carve on an enemy, um, Basically, the enemy takes twice as much as damage. Yeah, but uh, his brimstone is, is also weaker than regular brimstone. Yeah. And which uh, it's also like more narrow, so it's uh, harder to aim. Overall, it's a pretty interesting uh, character. And C section is the item that uh, pretty much shoots out uh, the, the babies here. But pretty good synergy. To yeah. Be honest. Yeah, it's a pretty good synergy because C section normally replaces your tears, but uh, with uh, Tainted Azazel, it uh, gives you additional, additional attack. And you see, they got Sabaton GG. Uh, yep. It's a huge damage up. <laughs> the game. I guess it should be a good one. Also, very interesting strategy here. Uh, essentially, Caesar got a hit on the white fire, uh, which is used for the puzzle. As, and uh, that white fire turns you into a different character, which is uh, the loss for one room, well, one battle room. And uh, that way, she can uh, like get hit because she gets holy mantle, which is uh, ex which is uh, which is uh, item that uh, the loss gets. Uh, she can get uh, one free hit in the next room without uh, losing her uh, devil deal chances and her free devil deal. Nice mapping here. You can save it, <laughs> yep. I guess. Yep, that's um, very nice map. <laughs> it's alright. Well, I think it's the best front probably right now. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. At least at this point, like, there was no better run in caves. This section is a pretty alright item. It's the only new starting item from Repentance. And it's pretty strong. It could be pretty slow though at the end, but it's a pretty safe item. Do you mind if I chime in one more time here? Yep. Alright, because we, we got a $86 anonymous donation saying long time watcher, first time donator. It's great to see one of my favorite games featured on ESA. Wishing you all the best with the run. Thank you so much. Thank you for the donation. Thank you. Alright, so as you can see, your damage is, all, is pretty decent. I, I would say that. Um, so now it's pretty. Fast forward, I would say. Um, don't need to take any item, probably. Oh, that's speed and flight. Mostly flight because it was the same speed. Yeah, I one. Think. Pretty, pretty interesting trinket here, by the way. Um, sadly, it's maybe a bit um, too late. Uh, 
uh, I would say, but now every item room will have a reward machine donation. Yeah. Essentially, uh, with uh, reroll machines, uh, you pay the money to get uh, to reroll the item on the platform, like you can see it here. Ooh. And that's a really good reroll. Yeah, that's a really good item. Maybe my favorite one, I would say. Uh, I don't know about you. Well, what's my favorite item? Well, my favorite item would be the knife. Oh, it's a knife. Yeah. What about you, chat? Just, you, can, you can type it. Yeah. It's interesting because there are, there are a lot of them. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, essentially, chat, what's your favorite item? Yeah. <laughs> Would be interesting to see that, by the way. Like to yeah. make statistics about that. Yeah. I mean, like, we can probably like, go through the chat later and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, write the script, like, count it. So this flow is. Great reward, I would say. Like it was a 50-50 chance uh, because two special rooms were one was left and the other was right. It was a right uh, location to you to, to, to deal with. I would say. Essentially, this run is really decent, but the floors here are really bad. Help, help. That's <laughs> scary. Yeah. yeah. There is a champion here that just attracts you and you can't leave. Imagine she's at 150 uh, speed. Imagine if you're below, <laughs> like, yeah. you can be scary. Oh, there is a, another pony, it's a better, better one. <laughs> yeah. We have a pony at home. <laughs> 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 All right, and Lump of Coal. That's a really decent run, to yeah. be honest. And Lump of Coal is a real good synergy with the Brimstone because uh, it's a damage multiplier. The further you are uh, from the enemy, the uh, more damage uh, the Brimstone does. Also, White Pony it's, uh, got changed in the latest uh, DLC and now it's one of the best uh, damaging uh, spacebar items. Look at this. Like, just, just look at this. Like, it just kills the boss. Yeah, yeah. And it's two room charge. Every item got a, a nerf, except this one. Yeah. <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. Like, it just basically one shot everything. Don't nerf it, please. <laughs> the floors have been really bad, like this entire run. <laughs> Those are bad layouts. Yeah. yeah. It's alright, the damage is pretty good. Like, it's the opposite of the previous run. Yep. It should be pretty easy, probably, to, to complete the run now. Could be a bit scary, though, for art, but could be alright. Yeah, and you could see she skipped uh, the second phase of the fight by timing the pony just right, so it kills the Isaac in time before it can like go up, and uh, you need to wait for him to come down. That's pretty good. That's a really pretty good. All right, so. Now the goal is just to reach the baby once again. And we will be done with the fifth character. Yep, and we will see what's the sixth character. There is still oh. two characters left, uh, so Forgotten and Dark Judas, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, Forgotten and Dark Judas. Uh, it's. Uh, I don't know if we mentioned it before, but essentially in this season we have seven set characters. But uh, the order of them are random, so we know which characters are still left in the pool, so Dark Judas and uh, Forgotten, but we don't know which one is gonna be next and which build it will have. That's a fun part of this build run. GG and Forgotten mm -hmm. with Chocolate Milk and Steven, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty nice build. Essentially, Chocolate Milk uh, acts the way that uh, you charge you charge uh, your shot, and the longer you charge it, the um, the more damage it does. So Forgotten is a um, it's a character um, where he's done booster pack number five on Afterboss Plus, if I remember yep. correctly. Yep, exactly. Uh, his mechanic is very interesting because, as you can see here, we are using the body form with the bone, and 
Nice, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, scissors use um, the soul form, which is uh, a flying form around Forgotten. Yeah, both of these forms have separate health. Like you can see the like the skeleton form on uh, top left corner has uh, the bony hearts and the Ooh. and the Oof. Okay, why not? I mean, it's alright, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good devil deal. Okay. Um, uh, and uh, the soul, the soul uh, part of the character has uh, soul hearts on the bottom, and essentially, it you can switch between windows, and if one of the characters dies, uh, you are dead altogether. By the way, <laughs> by the way, we <laughs> we can see something very interesting uh, here. Um, two Stevens. Ow, yeah. <laughs> ow! That's something we can't see every day. Yeah. Let's be honest. Uh, and Forgotten is probably the scariest character of them all. Uh, <laughs> um, so we have a good meme. Uh, I would say that uh, Racing Plus has some bugs. Uh, and Forgotten has a very interesting one, so yeah, we right. talked about <laughs> seated mechanic death, um, it doesn't work on this character. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of broken, so it's so, it's a bit dangerous to die here. <laughs> so please don't die, yeah, I'm yeah. sure you will be alright. I try, I try. Yeah, yeah. You can die on another way, by the way. Uh, if you take uh, Devil Deal and you don't have enough art, you just die. You don't have the death mechanic. Yeah, it's to prevent uh, pretty much stealing the devil for a 45 second penalty, which it would be worth a lot of the times. Especially if you have a knife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like. So it's broken, but not as broken as yeah, expected, like, probably. <laughs> yeah, like that mechanic is supposed to make uh, the run less punishing, but it's not supposed to, like, make it. Uh, Easier, I would e say. Easier uh, in the way that you can just get more items. Money core power. more money you have, the more damage you make. Which doesn't do a lot with two cents. You need the room than <laughs> we have before with <laughs> yeah. points. It will be plus two damage or maybe plus three even. I, I think at max it like... Oh, I will try to remember the number, it's like 3 point something, 75. Yeah, around, around 4-ish. Yeah. Plus it was your 5, nice, the run is saved. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, so far it's not a really good run. Let's, let's be honest, but uh, it might be better. That's too. a nice room. <laughs> like the path. Oh, room. nice floor, by the way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So here, if you manage to read the... Uh, map properly, I think you deserve the right to have the world record, probably. Yeah, I think most people would do the same read here, because uh, I would say on average it's uh, the boss is uh, more likely to be on the way of the shop than on the way of the item room and uh, the talent room here at the bottom. Hey, we have another big donation, if you, now is a good time to chime in here. Yeah. We have a $100 donation from Passion Drama that simply says, hi, from the retirement home. Hello. <laughs> hi, Passion. Hi, Passion. Hey. <laughs> the Hierophant. Okay, so we saw before um, that 1.5 speed is pretty good. So now it's one speed. And you yeah. can see it's pretty slow. Yeah, it's very slow to navigate through the room, and it's also harder to dodge. Oh, oh that's... Gordon Larry, nice. That's some damage, I yeah. guess. And that's... Uh, yeah. The run is safe. <laughs> this room is... gonna take a bit. Get him! Get him! <laughs> wow. <laughs> This floor is terrible, like, it's one of the worst I haven't seen in Depths 1. <laughs> oh, good boss. Here, okay, Devil Deal, we'll see... that's... alright? That's alright. Yep. Could be worse.
I think it seems to be way better now. <laughs> yeah. It is. Ooh. Nice. We just needed to complain a bit about the floors. Congratulations, my thing. Yep. <laughs> you are the MVP of the world. Yep, the game got what we need, what we want. Just in some damage now. Forgotten is a very interesting character, but it could be pretty hard. Yeah, it's... Uh... Also, we should mention that uh, Caesar right now has 100% uh, W chance, and the moment she loses that uh, bone heart, she would lose it. That's why she is uh, a bit more conservative. Well, I actually have gold head as well. So. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, that's otherwise would have it. Yeah. <laughs> Speed. Yeah. So uh, Caesar's got purity. Purity is a really good item. Um, it changes. It, it can change four different things. Um, so speed, range, damage, and tears. You're right. Uh, if you get it, you change to another thing. Yeah, and that essentially three out of four of those auras are kind of de desirable. Like you want all of these stats most of the time. I think you have enough bombs now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably. So it was a very interesting use of uh, the Ace of Clubs here. If you use this kind of card on a room, uh, it just changes every enemy in bombs. If you use Ace of Fate, it change every enemy in uh, keys. And so on. That's terrible devil deal. <laughs> this game? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yeah, we have one more shot at good devil deal. I trust you, game. I don't. Oh, you will have bad devil deal then. You need to trust. Trust luck. <laughs> I mean, can't do anything but trust at this point, right? Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure the chats trust luck, right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I priestess card. We we didn't see any emperor card right now. Once again, it's the best card of the game. It's not an emperor card. The game is not nice <laughs> as well. I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> It leaves fights, alright, and Devil Deer. We'll see what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't trust game, but why? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a really good Devil Deer here, sadly. The end of the run can be pretty hard, I would say, and especially with what I said before. <laughs> yeah. But it won't, it won't happen, we won't show that. Also, Fiol and Dark Room are. Uh... Harder falls than chess. Like the rooms in those are effectively harder, and uh, and the lamp is uh, also harder uh, and boss uh, than blue baby. Mm. Way harder, I would say even. Yeah, way yeah. harder. The lambs uh, and Satan's pattern are can be pretty pretty hard to, to deal with. Here is the case. Ooh, ooh. Nice dodge, by the way. Nice usage of the active item, by the way. Thank you. Uh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't say anything. Okay, yeah. No one yep. noticed anything. Oh. Yeah. Do you? Ooh. Oh. That's that Brimstone. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, that's Leviathan. Uh, this is the worst enemy in the game. Um, by the way, but it was pretty fast. <laughs> okay. That's alright. So, end of the run should be alright. Yeah. Um, by the way, we could uh, wonder, uh, like, in the Darkman chest, uh, here, when you see the map, uh, it appears like uh, it might be also... <laughs> yeah. Nice floor. Nice floor, yeah. Uh, essentially, uh, as you can see, like, uh, it uh, could be both down and to the left. But, however, like, statistically, <laughs> it's more likely for the floors to be... Uh, on the right or the left of the starting room, then on the bottom. Like, we, we, it's kind of weird, but it was actually proven by uh, generating, like, how was it, five, mi five million floors? It was uh, theory crafted, yeah. Yeah. Wow, okay, okay. This, is, uh, this is a free character, GG. Uh, Dark Judas, so Dark Judas is um, kind of the same thing as Judas Shadow Transformation, so it's times two damage, and we have 
probably one of the best items in the game. Maybe the best item, I, I would even say, which is Sacred Art. Sacred Art is a damage up um, and an HP up. And all of your tiers are homing now. So as you can see, it's everything. <laughs> it's everything. It's really good. It's a really cool item. It's pretty safe for the end of the run. It's the last character. Uh, also, it's, uh, it's kind of like an item that uh, doesn't really have much, if any, anti-synergies. Because it's pretty much homing and uh, damage up. So you, you pretty much will know what it does with everything. It's very good with everything, as you said, but maybe not a like pickaxe, and I would oh. say even maybe in the mom's knife. It's not really easy to play. Yeah, with like them. it's kind of weird with uh, mom's knife because uh, the homing acts kind of weird, but it's still good damage. Oh so, yeah. The fact uh, huge tears up and small damage up. That's on the right front right now. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what you want with this run: more damage. Uh, yeah. As you can see, it's a really fast floor here. Yeah, essentially, especially wow. since oh, ah. fast, fast kill. Yep. On this boss, it's really hard to do. Yeah. But GG. Essentially, this boss has a special mechanic when you can feed it the bomb for this, for the fast kill as you, as you saw it. Especially as, at the point he has a, a shield and you can't manage. Uh, you can't deal uh, that much damage as you want. Yep. And the bomb just go through that shield. Where are your card? Also, we didn't mention, but uh, Dark Judas can't get uh, a red, red ha uh, heart containers. Yeah. Uh, it essentially does uh, soul hearts and black cards. Wait, so uh, we will reach a boss of Cave 2 here, and as you can see, it's pretty fast. But still, not every deal, but the tears up is pretty alright. And the two Sohars don't really. Well, they help still. You need to have health for a devil deal. Even, even though the health is fine for now. If you have time to do any donation, feel free to. Sounds good. We have a $10 donation here from Leo Zetron saying congrats for Repentance making it here as the RNG is even more unforgiving, even with the Racing Plus mod. We just we just noticed that by the way during the run. <laughs> that's yeah. a nice one. <laughs> okay, Krampus here. That's not what we want to see. It depends on what... Oh, we don't have any reward. Uh, it was fast flow for once. <laughs> yeah, for once. Yeah. When you don't want a fast floor, you get a fast floor. Yeah, when you when you need uh, the charge on your dice, that's when you will get the. Imagine the fast game floor. being nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine. <laughs> but it's all right. We we should have a pretty good run right now. Sacred is way too strong this game. Yeah, okay, there we go. What? I told you about Emperor before. You will see that. <laughs> <laughs> So Hermit card is a card that sends you right to the shop, but uh, after Depths 2 you don't have any shops uh, more, so it's just a uh, random location on the floor. It could be the first room, which is pretty bad, I would say. Yeah. But it can be near to the boss. It also can be like the other side of the boss. It, it is, <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah, it is random, but uh, pretty much statistically it's uh, more likely to be towards the boss because uh, path to the boss in general is the longest path of the floor. So you pretty much want to use the random teleport every single time. So it was the first time that you came to the, um, to the boss rush. The boss rush is a, a room where you have between two and eight different items. If you pick one item, you have to face 15 waves of enemies. If I remember yeah. correctly, between... I think it's 15, yeah. I think it's 15, yeah. Um, it's slow, but uh, as mentioned before, um, the armor can permit to just steal an item and then go, yes. basically, without facing every yeah. anyone. It really wants to give me money equals power <laughs> this one. <laughs> 
I think that's the third one I saw. Is it for Save the Children? Or? Oh, oh yes. yeah, that's yeah. what it is. It's a sign. It's something. It's a probably. sign. Mm -hmm. I see a pattern here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Garden Troll Bomb, once again. It's pretty, it's pretty raw as well. But the run should be alright. I mean, it should be pretty easy to, to complete this run. Especially, uh, I, I, we told you before about the lack of life, but uh, the damage is very nice, so it shouldn't be an issue, probably. Now the only bad thing is I don't have any bombs. You don't, have, you don't have any bombs here. <laughs> yeah, so the cathedral can be a bit rough. Yeah. We should pray about not getting the triple envy room. Please. Please, don't curse game. Me. Please, yeah. game. Be nice. No, Shigan, please don't curse me. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> we shouldn't have mentioned it. Uh, but for the audience to see that, like. We didn't see the triple envy room. <laughs> we need to see that. No, we no. don't. <laughs> no, we don't. We do not. We do I not. mean, we are way below the estimate right yeah. now. Like, triple envy is pretty much the slowest it's room to clear in it's the like game. Except, oh. except for like very specific builds that have uh, piercing, like brimstone, piercing tears, and stuff like that. I'm sad, we didn't see it. <laughs> I'm really sad. But still the <laughs> enemy room is <laughs> the test. <laughs> yeah. So there is still a possibility. <laughs> okay, so Isaac is pretty fast right now. And we will reach the final floor of the run. Alright. It's okay. Uh, and, and you mentioned it, pregnancy before. Uh, Hermit can be terrible as well. <laughs> yep, it can and be entirely wrong way. This is a terrible Hermit, let's be honest. Yep. But you, you can't know that before. On average, it's good, but yeah. On it can happen sometimes, <laughs> on average. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't an average one. Yeah. Math and luck. Yeah, this was below average. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, it should be the way, like, there, there are maybe three or four rooms to complete and it should be done, it would be free. So, the time will be when uh, you see that we'll reach the trophy, it will come really soon, probably. Yeah, I'll play a little tune. Come really soon. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 is that skill? Oh, 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 oh. Is that skill? <laughs> That's definitely not skill with the amount of damage. It was, I and the time is coming soon, and time. time. Nice. Wow. Congrats. Wow. Thank you very much for the uh, for giving me a chance to to show this off. It's. Uh, I'll tell you, I was really nervous beforehand, so I'm glad everything went uh, below estimate. <laughs> yeah. I'm really happy for that. You uh, did good. Thank you. And thank you for the excellent commentary. You as well, Kane. You did very well. Thank you. And there is uh, Mario Kart coming up next. And after that, Shigan is actually displaying his Euro Truck Simulator $24 run. And that is going to be so great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do, you want, do you want to shout out to anyone? Say shout out to the Isaac community. That's a really good and welcoming community. If you want to, if you want to get to the Isaac speedrunning, like just feel free to join the Discord. Many people are really nice. Yeah. Us free. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think. I think. Uh, yes, we're good. Thank you for your donation, by the way. Yeah, and if you ever want to get into the game, there's uh, also a couple of uh, tournaments that we have each year um, uh, that we raise seeded where we race on the same seat. It's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, if you want to find the Discord, it's on speedrun.com. And thank you. Thank you. Bye. And thank Bye. you, you Caesar, for that run. And as mentioned before, as we just mentioned, there is Mario Kart DS coming up. 32 tracks by MKDS Able. 
So we're going to take a quick break as we set up for that handheld racing action. So go ahead and get a drink, get a snack, and we'll be right back.